shoplifters have always been a massive problem for businesses, and when someone gets caught, they usually don't go down without a fight. Here's what happens when shoplifters get caught red-handed. I'm conducting a theft investigation. You're now free to leave at this time. Right. I'm conducting a theft investigation. You pay in the, in the house. What's that? They pay in there. Someone else is paying for the merchandise that you walked out with? No, 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 listen, how do I walk out with it? I'm not going to We're going to do this? Relax this hand. Hey, hey, listen to me. Oh, my God, Listen to me. While we investigate, I'll put your handcuffs, and if we're wrong, because, listen, you're pulling your hand. But listen, sir. No, 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 You listen. First, put your handcuffs, make it safe for me, then we look into the details. Thank you? Okay. Okay, thank you. Just because I put you in handcuffs doesn't mean you're getting charged. It means it gives me time to investigate, explain that you walked out with stuff we're not paying for. This woman is Shamika Wilson, and when the officers walked up, she was in the process of loading up about $1,400 worth of merchandise into her car. The officers were responding to a call from Target about a suspected theft in progress because their loss prevention team had recognized Wilson from a previous theft. Where's, where's your buddy? Uh, right there. She don't even know what's going on. So well, she's saying that she's about to pay for it. Hey, well, I'm not paying. It's just something they already use. I got you. Yeah. I'm just. Hey, uh, let me make sure yeah, that we'll yeah, look yeah. into this. Yeah. So if you want to like stand right there where she can't see and just let her okay. walk out just to make sure, like, hey. She All know. right. The scam that the guard is talking about is actually a fairly common one. Two people go into a store with the intention to steal stuff, and one person walks out with it, while the other pays. What they're actually doing is buying time, and giving each other a possible explanation for if they're caught, even though it isn't very well thought out. How is any of the merchandise going to be scanned if it's already been taken from the store? Do you have an ID with you? Huh? Do you have an ID with you? No, sir. Did you drive here? Huh? Did you drive here? No, my friend goes here. Your friend drove here? Yes. What's your first name? Chimika Wilson. Spell it. S-H-E-M-K-A Wilson. W-I-L-O-S-O. Don't turn it off. I'm sorry. Whoa. We couldn't turn it off. Don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I turned the vehicle off. We couldn't turn it off because we don't have the the key is in 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 the po in the girl's pocket. That don't the worry is. about the car. Spell your last name again. Wilson. W I L S O N. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kendall. You listening? This is where I told you you need to listen. This is where I told you you need to listen. Um, this is where I told okay. you you need to listen. Okay. I'm not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You need to listen to me. Because if you don't, it's not going to work out. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be... It appears that the officer has made the choice to arrest her, considering he's reading her Miranda rights. It's interesting because he hasn't really learned anything new about the situation yet. Is she in there paying for all this stuff, or what's going on? She was at the register. So... Um, so I'll just tell you the information I was told. So, they're, they're the loss prevention guy that works at Target, you know, oh. we work with all the time. He says, there's someone in the store who has stolen from Target before. What, the what, what she stuff? does is yeah, she goes I'm be, to uh, and Monroe, scans and stuff and then bags it and leaves and never pays no, for I the stuff. I haven't been to Target in a, a minute. So yeah, I learned, over I learned, a minute ago, yeah, yeah. they remember you. So then they're watching you, and they're like, "Looks like she's doing the same thing she got arrested for last time." Oh, no, I know. Well, that's I, what it looks like. You're I'm bagging stuff baby. up, and then I, I, I'm not doing that. Oh, what you're saying is completely different than the way okay, pretty much can, everyone I know shops. Okay, well, can you go get like? I'm letting her finish her transaction because if she pays for everything without me talking to her, then we know that there's a good chance. That she was, are you going to call her and tell her, hey, tell the, tell them to pay for all this no. stuff? Okay, you're not allowed to dig in your purse. Right, okay. okay, are you all done? I'm with your friend outside. Have you paid for everything yet? No, are you ready to go? No. Okay, are you still working on that? Yeah, we'll save this one for last okay. if you don't mind. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, well, your friend walked out with hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise that didn't pay for anything. So, I mean, we're, that's what we're doing now. You're paying for what? So, She's paying yes, that's what, so what I'm doing to figure out what's going on. 
How are you paying for all that stuff? It was a car. It was me. You scanned clothing items? Scanned I was scanning her. Yeah. Clothing. Okay. And she went and over there and... She went over there and scanned stuff. Okay? She didn't pay for any of it. She goes, she's never sleep. She didn't pay for she didn't give anything to Target in exchange for hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise. She just walked out with it. Her story is that you're paying for all of the yeah, stuff but that I she know, walked yeah, out she with. Has, she has her own works part. I don't know if, okay. if like, I don't know. So um, she's supposed to pay for her stuff and you're supposed to pay for your yeah, stuff? Well, our clothes are together, but I gotcha. the baby formula stuff, that's, that, someone gave her a WIC card to go to the store to get that. So okay. I don't know if I about WIC. Are you paying for it? Or if, if, if you are, then it's already scanned, unless I'm misunderstanding. She's trying to pay for it, but her car is recently hacked or something. Right. So she was trying to get her friend's card so she could And I just on, literally started calling her and you walked up to me. And you telling me this, and that's all this like. Right. Right. What's going on? This story doesn't seem to add up very well. At first, she seemed to agree that she was paying for all of her friend's stuff. But after the officer let a bit slip about what was going on, Suddenly, there were separate transactions. And then at the end of it, it seems like she's having payment troubles. On its own, that's not an issue. People have cards that decline all the time. But in tandem with what's already happening, it becomes suspicious. Shemi Shemka? Shemika Wilson. Is there an I in there somewhere? Because you spelled S-H-E-M-K-A. That's, Sh that's Shemka Wilson. Shemika. Is there an I in there? Huh? S H E M K A? It's S H A. S H A. S H A. Shamika. S H E M K A. She just changed the spelling of her name several times in the same few seconds. It's obviously a fake identity, and she couldn't even come up with one good enough to keep the name consistent. So when I look up just a, a female, with your date of birth, with a last name that begins with W, there is zero. Look up this, look, at, look up this name, Ebro. So here's the deal, this is how it works. If you continue to conceal your identity from us until we get to the jail, and then we find out who you are when we get to the jail because we scan your fingerprints, and they tell us, yeah, this is so-and-so. We arrest you for... Oh. You got warrants. No, I, don't. I just don't want to go to jail. Y'all are going to be nasty. Y'all are going to let me go. Now you're going in a car. You got to be kidding me right now. Unbelievable. I don't want to go to jail. Oh my God. Stop. I got her, you, bro. I got her. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to go to jail. That was ridiculous. It seemed to truly shock the officers when she took off, because up until that point, she hadn't displayed many behaviors of being likely to attempt an escape. In the end, though, she was caught and later charged with grand theft, as well as resisting an officer without violence. We'll have to wait and see how it goes in court, but it's very likely that she'll be locked up. This next case, however, might be a little less cut and dry. Oh, well, it's gone. Good. So, sounds like the store doesn't want you here, so you're gonna have to well, grab. Oh, it is. It is on here. Okay. Why is there a cop collar? What's that? Why is there a cop collar here? Hey. Huh? Listen. What? Put your stuff down. And you gotta leave. No. Yes, or else I'm gonna escort you out. Oh my god. Put your stuff down. No, I don't want to. I didn't ask you. I'm telling you. Put your stuff down. Oh my. Go. We're leaving. <laughs> The woman very stubbornly refusing to leave here is named Adelie, and she was asked to leave the store for closing time over half an hour before the officers arrived. Stores absolutely have the right to refuse service to whoever they wish for any reason, and the property has the right to bar people from accessing it. You have activated our inventory control system. Please return to your cashier and move we'll your transaction. I don't steal, I take. 
Come here. Come here. Does that mean she took something? No, I didn't steal anything. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I, what, I, Stop. I didn't steal anything. Then why is your alarm system going off? You can go off? my bag. We are. We're going to. Okay, but I didn't Take steal anything. Take it off. That's all my s*** bought. Okay. But I left my purse in there. Okay. You can get that here in a second. What the f*** are you doing? Stop. Don't you f*** do that. Stop. No. Nope. You're going to be in cuffs. You're going no, to No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What the f***? Stop. I will kill you. That's fine. Yeah, they ain't going to kill you. Okay. Yeah, cool. What the f*** are you doing? Put your hands back. As soon as Adelie left the store, the alarm went off, signaling that she had merchandise with her that she hadn't paid for. And of course, when the officers went out to confront her, she's being anything but cooperative. Immediately saying that she's going to kill a police officer is also not a smart move. Her speech also seems to be slurring a bit, which could mean that she's drunk or on some kind of drugs. I'm in the game. I'll kill you. Get out. Stop. What did I do? Knock it off! No Stop! Knock it off! Stop Knock it off! I'm a disciple! I'm a disciple! Knock it off! Knock it off! Stop! Stop kicking me! Stop! Claiming to be in a gang to an officer is also a very bad idea. There are special charges that can come with organized crime and gang violence that she wouldn't have otherwise gotten, though it's very unlikely that this woman is actually in a gang. Just stop! Hey, 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 can we talk? No! We are far past that. Stop trying to scratch me. Guys, I'm not begging you, please. Stop trying to scratch me. Please talk to me. I mean, please talk to me. We're past that. Please talk to me. Guys, talk to me. Guys, you can search me. I promise. I didn't steal anything. You guys can search me, okay? You can search everything. Okay? Guys. Stop talking. I didn't steal anything. They're all watching. They're going to kill me. He's coming up right now. He's coming up right now. Stop! He's coming up right now to kill you. Stop! Stop! Please! I'm going to... Stop it! Stop kicking me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not that hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Not. One moment, she's screaming that she's going to kill them, and the next, she asks if they can calm down and talk. You can hear one of the officers almost laugh at her when she says it. She also does eventually consent to the search, which is honestly a bit unexpected. Stand up. No, I didn't. No, stop. I'm sorry. Did I really? I don't know. Numerous times. Oh, did? Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I really? I'm really sorry. I mean it. Guys, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. Hey, stop talking. I Sit am, down. Mama. I am. Sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Sure. Sure. I really am. I think someone's done some math today? No. None at all. Don't you act like that? So there's this? That's my no. Which? What's your name? Adeline. I get, I get, I get. Disciple. I'm a disciple. I'm a disciple. No, you're not. Okay. Look at my, look, take off my jacket. I'm a disciple. Look, I'm wearing it. I'm okay, wearing my jacket. Take it off. Take, take this off. Okay, how do you spell your first name? I'm a, I'm a, well, the officers confirmed it. She is, in fact, on methamphetamine. Her behavior makes a bit more sense now, though the emotional roller coaster was still quite wild. The officers also pulled about $800 worth of stolen merchandise out of her bag, which they were able to give back to the store owners. It's always nice when shoplifters are held accountable. The next case, thankfully, is very satisfying to watch. 
take that bag from from Dollar Tree? Oh no, this comes, you got a receipt for that stuff. This comes from um, what you call it? This comes from when this is. I had a bag in my like, what you call it? Okay, put the stuff on the hood. Put the stuff on the hood. This young woman is Ishiante Jackson. Just a few moments before this, officers received a call from a local Dollar Tree that someone had just taken off with a bag full of merchandise. While searching for this person, they found Ishiante walking down the street, and she matched the description they'd been given. You might have also noticed her hand unexplainably shaking. Just put, put, everything, put everything on the hood. Just put everything on the hood. No, 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 no. Put the bag on the hood. Okay. Put everything on the hood. Your the purse, phone, everything like that. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. So Place your hands behind your back. If this not, if this not, put your hands behind your back. Okay, let me get my phone first. Put your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, I did not. I did not. Okay, we're. Tree, I did not. Okay, everything. Okay, ma'am, unless you want everything broken, put it on the hood. Drop it. Drop it, ma'am. I drop your hands. Ma'am, I did not. The cops calmly told Ishiante to put all the items onto the hood of the car, which she did, but clearly quite reluctantly. But it was after the cops told her to put her hands behind her back, and she realized she was actually being arrested, and that's when she started to retaliate. Put your hands I did not do anything, ma'am. I did not do anything. You can call them. Okay. You can call them. You can call them. And we will. We will. We will. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, can we go back? Put your hands behind your back. Okay, can we go back up there? We're gonna go, we're gonna go over there. Okay. 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 Can I wrap again in the car? Because that's my sister now. Okay. Hold on. I'm okay. Is this her? Yes, yes. Okay. Let me get your information. Alright. Alright, so this is the woman that took all the stuff and walked out, so you watched mm -hmm. her do it? Mm hmm. Okay. What's your name? With both physical merchandise and a witness, it seems like this is going to be a pretty open and shut case. The woman is in a police car in handcuffs. Nothing could go wrong. Hey, it's gonna come over with you. Oh, right here, right here. Yep. Yeah. What? So right here. Take a seat. I can get my thing out there. I'm gonna get it. Take a seat. I can get my thing out there, man. Running from the cops is a sure way to make sure you get in more trouble. An innocent person would have no reason to run, and it's pretty unlikely you're going to even get away. Running away is only gonna likely end up with more prison time as running from the cops counts as evading arrest. And to make it even worse in her attempted escape, she knocked the policewoman to the ground. Not to be confused with what you might have seen on camera of the officer tripping during the chase. This will undoubtedly be brought back up as an assault on a police officer. Give me your hands. Give me your hand. No, this stole my go. iPhone Friday. Okay, okay. You get her car. Okay, okay let go. Let, let go. Let's go over. Ali, are you good? She's okay. Ali, are you good? During the second arrest of this case, a bystander appears out of nowhere and assists the arrest by jumping on top of Ishiante. It takes the officer a moment to even realize what is going on before he tells her to stop and to let go. The woman claimed that Ishiante had also stolen her iPhone two days earlier. She's on the ground. She's on the ground. Mom, don't touch me. Stop, stop. stop. I got it. Don't touch me. He busted my lip. Don't touch me. He busted my lip. Don't touch me. Give me your. What would you run? Come on. I'm not getting up. He busted my lip. Come on. We gonna take it to the hospital. We gonna take it to the hospital. 
smoke. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Well, you're trying to resist it and run. The officer does struggle to get the handcuffs on due to Ishiante resisting, and the fact that he's doing the arrest on his own, as the female police officer still hasn't gotten up off of the ground. Luckily, the officer turned out to be unharmed. What very likely happened is that she had hit her head when she fell, and blacked out for a couple of minutes. This fall, however, wasn't when Ishiante pushed her over. It was the second self-inflicted fall that caused this. At the end of the day, Ishiante Jackson was caught and arrested. She currently faces a $10,000 bond while awaiting trial, and it's very likely that she's going to go to prison over this. She does have a criminal record, but there weren't any open cases she was involved in. That is not the case for this next shoplifter. Turn off your vehicle. These two ladies are called Engel and Camilla, and they just finished up a shopping spree that they didn't pay for. It's lucky that one of the officers on duty speaks Spanish, because the two of them don't seem to speak any English. Comprando. Okay, so, ¿tiene la licencia? ¿Tú no tienes licencia? Okay, so, uh, ¿de, de, ¿de qué tienda viniste ahora? Yeah. No, pero ¿qué tienda? No, necesitaba tienda aquí cerca. Well, um, baja la ventana para que él te pueda ver. Es que no puedo porque tengo que prender. Okay, so she can't roll down that window because we made her turn off to her car. Open it. Okay. Take your seatbelt off. This one is on the officer. It should be obvious that she wouldn't be able to roll down the window after the car was turned off. Evidently, neither of them have a license on them, which is obviously illegal, though it's possible they're new to the country and don't know you need one. Okay. So, tenemos una llamada que había una ropa que This is actually a problem that we don't see very often, but it can be a real issue. Obviously, when someone is being arrested, they have the right to hear their Miranda rights in a way that is clear and accessible to them. That includes being in a language that they understand. It can be a big issue if there isn't a copy handy and a language that the people being arrested can speak, and often results in a long waiting period while someone figures something out. 
especially for uncommon languages. This is an excellent case study into why having officers who speak different languages is so important. Nobody here seems to speak Spanish, except for the one officer. She is the only one who is making sure that these people know what's happening and understand their rights. Did they send you a video? Sent the pictures. But when we stopped, they were doing something back here. So I don't know if they were. Like Burlington coat. Uh, yeah, tag. it's that's Burlington coat for sure, hundred percent. Oh, you see, look. So there's some. Look, this is what the brochures. Look. Yeah. So they took. So oh, all of these too. Yeah. So when we stopped them, I could see them fumbling around back here, and they were just probably taking tags off of stuff. See, look, another tag. They got this ripped off. With this. Yep. It seems that while they were driving, the two women were ripping tags off of the stolen clothes so that they would look more legitimate. Unfortunately, that was never going to help them, because loss prevention texted the officers photos of the bags that they carried all of the merchandise out with. That was what gave them probable cause to search the car. notified me that they got federal alarm lookouts on them. Not only were they caught shoplifting, they're also on the FBI's national crime list, which means that there was a felony warrant out for their arrest. They were indeed taken in, but unfortunately for some reason, the felony shoplifting charges were dropped and they were allowed to go free. Immigration also failed to deport them. So these criminals faced zero repercussions for their actions. That unfortunately happens sometimes when shoplifters are caught red-handed.